Pegou o Gilão, Gilão. Ah? Olha lá. 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 Olha Chinese company where they do mining won't take over their community. According to them, there be right agreement. That kind, okay, they mine here. Bill, like I say the Chinese meter for the mineral resources. Conscious say these people houses say, on top of the deposit of the mining. They don't do map now. The people who don't run come here. Say the Chinese people won't come out them from their ancestral lands. And they go outside now. Make I hear from these people. Before and after the 1960 independence of most African countries, including Nigeria, Nigeria as a nation is an agriculturalist nation or state, of which we have been doing solely well before the oil boom in the 70s. But after that time, everything all changed altogether. But the situation here today is the fact that we continue to depend on our oil, forgetting the fact that we have a lot of mineral resources deposited across the whole country. But the issue that I'm going to talk about here is why the federal government is not harnessing those resources deposited in other states and only concentrating on the oil from the south region of the country. <laughs> Now, we have a lot of insecurity going on in Zamfara, Bronu, Adamawa, and some other northern states, of which you can find, you know, gold, you can find diamond, zinc, among other mineral resources in those states. Now we have Nasarawa, we have Kogi, of which those two states, last mentioned, have a lot among other states across Nigeria. Especially with the recent discovery of uh, lithium in Nasarawa State. And the Nasarawa governor stated that they are already exploring those things and selling them out. The same fear that you had, you have mentioned about cocoa. You forgot actually it's the same problem we are having with uh, crude oil. You know, we do the exploration here, we produce the oil here, we, we produce the crude oil here, we take it out, refine it, and then return it back to Nigeria as finished product. You know, which is really not the way it's supposed to be. Uh, that is the whole idea that we, we went in. So, as you know, uh, all minerals are under the list, they are under the federal government. Uh, when we came in, the reason why I keep congratulating the present administration as well as uh, the Minister of Solid Minerals is the, the fact that they came up with the license, they gave the licenses without even the knowledge of the state. But then we, the state, came up with our own executive order to say that whoever has a license and is going to do something, we don't want you to be taking the minerals in raw form out of Nasarawa State. Please, we want you to build a factory. We want you to be able to build something. As I'm talking to you, there are over 1,000 uh, Nasarawa State Indians who are working right now at this particular site. Now, when you look at this now happening in Nasarawa, compared to the oil being exploited from other states in the southern part of the country, you will begin to ask question: Why is that? It's not the federal government is exploring this thing for the development of the whole country. Now, what happened to Zamfara? We all know the situation of the gold mining going on in the northern part of the country of which the government is aware there have been pictures videos circulating of how this has been going on over the years but it seems like nobody cares and the question still remains who are those mining those things who are the people and this is the questions that back the heart of many nigeria as to the fact that the southern part of the country resources is for the whole nigeria and the other part of the country resources like the northern part is just for the state this will not bring nigeria out of the current level of poverty but rather it will sink the country the more but before we talk further Let's not forget that the recognition of Africa and Nigeria is working rapidly.
And it is high time that Nigerian leaders, as well as African leaders, look at this eyeball to eyeball and end this within a matter of time before it escalates. And this can be seen from the numerous loans that have been collected from IMF, China, World Bank, and other nations of the world. And that you can see again from the treatment that most Nigerians and Africa, Africans suffered from, especially the Chinese company. And this will bring me to a village in Nasarawa State where the Chinese company are now mining and trying to even collect the land from the villagers and send them homeless right from, from their own ancestral home. But before I play this video for you to watch, Let's not forget that this can only be achieved when the government is not aware of what is happening within its own terrain and checkmate those who come into the country and what they are here for. So let's watch this video as this group of people from a particular village in Nasarawa State run to the Brackete Family a reality uh, TV show in Abuja to complain about how they are trying to send them back in from their own ancestral home as well as demolishing the only hospital they have and their homes as well. All credits to uh, Brackete Family. The people don't run come here. Say the Chinese people won't come out them from their ancestral land. Uh, they go outside now, make a hear from these people. Uh, uh, but the family, the, family, uh, the uh, most disheartening uh, issue that, uh, brought, issue us that brought us to you, to you is, that is that the Kenyan mining company, company wants to take wants over to take our community. The only historic town that we have in the whole Nigeria, where our, uh, our first class chief is residing. In fact, now as it is, they are, in fact, their high level of desperation is to take the entire community from us. We had some of the agreement with them of uh, uh, in 2001 where uh, there is one uh, 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 land where it's not part of their license uh, uh, environment and it is a setback where we now said they are not going to mine in those areas. In fact, with all the intervention of the executive governor, our highly respected executive governor of Nasrallah State, Engineer A. Esli, he intervened with some high level of stakeholders where in fact we now had an agreement with them that okay now we agree but they will have to uh, abide all, all credits to uh, bracket family by the agreement the one of the agreement is that okay they are going to pay compensation after paying the compensation in fact they are going to reclaim back the set area unfortunately the Kenya mining company after mining uh, the, uh, the the set area they refused to Reclaim that place where the standing committee that was initiated what by What do you mean by reclaim? Reclamation. What do you mean reclamation? That is, the sign failed the area. All credits to uh, Brackete family. We are then do the mining. Yes, sir. And the agreement, they say, after they do the mining finish, they go pack sand, refill the sand, yes, the, the land. Yes, yes, sir. The holes where they don't see, uh, dig. Yes, sir. Then the people go continue living on their land. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These people, after they do the mining finish, they no country the two the sand filling again. Yes. yes sir and they can't abandon the place yes sir they don't even re agree uh, agree to leave the place yes sir so they can't claim ownership of the place yes, yes sir and they want to further excavate leading to the main city of the town uh, this is this man yeah. i will send these people to you which day you want me then come and uh, which time uh, and where uh, they will come meet you let them come on top but the question here is that why is it that the government, the federal government, is not the one responsible for the mining and everything. Because if you look at the constitution and everything, you will understand that all these resources and all of that can only be assessed and harnessed by the federal government. The state have little or nothing to do. So if the national state government can do that just like the governor said, then why can they allow the south-south part of the country, the southeastern part of the country, who have access to oil among many other resources deposited in their state, to also harvest them, have investment from foreign bodies, you know, and then sell these products according to international price and develop their states.
whichever templates they are using in the northern part of the country and the middle belt should also be used equally in the south south part of the country or southeastern part of the country but the goal and the major aim here is the development of nigeria as a whole and this is the reason why we all said this that the forcefully amalgamation of the southern and the northern proletariat is the reason why nigeria is still where it is today but that can still be amended as we can actually come together to make sure that things work in our own favor by probably dropping this presidential system of government and practice a true parliamentary system of government or better still what we practice in the early 60s when we have the regions let everyone develop each region with the resources that is being embedded in those region and with that we'll be able to see high level of development in nigeria of which it will transfer to neighboring african countries as well as the whole africa as a whole if not then we continue to have foreigners coming here to do whatever they like at the end of the day because of the loans that we collect from them and then we have ourselves returned back to colonial era in the nearest future do i make any sense let's have a take at the comment section thank you for watching